Unfortunately, our time in the area is over. We are back in Da Nang. We're gonna be taking a train over to Nha Trang. It's about a nine to 10 hour ride. There are a couple options you can take. You can either take a seat for the whole ride. I won't be doing that for 10 hours. Or you can take a bed. First thoughts, Graham. First thoughts? Could be worse. <laughs> I'm guessing you could probably buy your tickets here, but we purchased ours ahead online and they sent us an email with a PDF to download. Uh, just, I guess, the first tip of the trip, which we kind of ran into some problems, is we didn't save it to our phone, so we needed to find Wi Fi to make sure we could download it. Once you do, there's going to be a QR code. He's not scanning it at the entrance, he's just looking at it and I guess it passes all the tests. We've been on the train for about an hour and a half now and I didn't get breakfast, so. I was feeling a little bit worried we wouldn't have much to eat, but luckily some ladies just walked by. I'm guessing this is a steam bun of some sort, maybe pork or some sort of meat. All right, well, that's different, but uh, I'm gonna give it a try anyway. And these cool looking hot dogs. Hot dog. And you can't go wrong with unripened mango. I actually prefer to ripe mango, which is obviously a little bit softer, it's more sweet. These are, in my opinion, more refreshing. They're crisp, they're light, they're very sour. Um, I could probably only have a couple more, but it's a good thing too because I hear they serve lunch on the train, so I don't want to get too full before it comes. more of a lunch you do have to pay for it each meal costs forty thousand dong and then there's drinks pops waters red bull if you really want to stay awake for a long train ride uh, and either way we're going to dig in here it looks like rice egg maybe some pork or pork shoulder and some sort of green vegetable it looks like maybe morning glory in either case it smells delicious so we're going to dig in I was awake every maybe five, ten minutes. It was fairly comfortable. The mattress is what you would expect. Uh, in terms of room, I'm just under 5'11 and I had maybe, I don't know, two or three inches. So if you're a taller person, it might be a little bit more work to find a comfortable position. On each train, there's going to be a number of different compartments. And there's going to be hard wooden seats. There'll be six sleeper, four sleeper. We picked the four sleeper, and this is really equivalent to, in a way, first class in an airplane. And then the six sleeper might be business, and then economy would be the wooden seats or even the soft seats. If you're doing a long haul, like five plus hours, six hours, I would definitely recommend a sleeper. Even if you're not planning on sleeping, it's still nice to be able to lie down, and you have your own private room. So that's a definitely a perk. The six bunk rooms are about the same size in terms of length and width. They might even be the exact same, but instead of having just your traditional bunk bed, there'll be three stacked. So it'd be fairly squishy. In terms of best seat or best bunk, I would suggest the bottom one. You have your own space here and it, there's basically a table in each room. So you can kind of make it your own table. Uh, it also, for me at least, I would be very uncomfortable dangling my feet in front of someone else. So if I was like on the second or third one dangling my feet down, I couldn't do that. There isn't too much room above me from the, the bunk. So you can imagine if there was three stack, this would be even lower and I might have to slouch down a bit to even sit here. So another good perk for the four berth is just the addition of all the extra room. All in all, the 
train took about 11 hours. There was a little bit of a delay, but it didn't feel that long. I took a little nap here and there, but definitely not a long extended sleep. Uh, overall though, I enjoyed the experience. Before booking the train, me and Graham checked out a lot of reviews and it was extremely mixed. There was a lot of one stars, a lot of five stars, and I would say overall I would give it maybe a three and a half. A lot of them were saying things like, never take this, worst experience ever, not like it's advertised. Uh, some others were saying, watch out for the cockroaches, we spent all night defending off the rat. Uh, we didn't see any rats, but there were a couple cockroaches crawling on the walls. We saw them right at the end of the trip, so it didn't really bother us throughout the entire trip, which was nice. But once I saw them, I was like, yeah, I'm kind of ready to get off this train. So would I take it again? Uh, yes and no depending. So if I was doing a long extended overnight train, probably not because you have nothing to look at. It would just be dark and you'll have to sleep. And the fact that there could be some things crawling around your bed uh, at night, it's a little bit more concerning. Uh, I would take a day train again though. I enjoyed looking around. There was so much to see, so much rice. Right now I'm in a train and we're gonna be taking a two day bike trip down to Dulat. So it's gonna be a lot of scenic routes, seeing some of the agriculture around the area, some waterfalls maybe. We'll be spending a night in one of the villages and Apparently there's going to be a little bit of partying, so I hope that we're, we're good for the next morning. So now I'm going to have a quick shower, cool off, I'm feeling incredibly gross, and maybe we'll do a little bit of exploring tonight, but we don't want to have a super late night because we're on the road tomorrow at 8.30 and we have a lot of biking ahead of us. Uh, if you want to watch that video, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it.